A new Alphabet company will use artificial intelligence methods for drug discovery, Google's parent company announced Thursday. It'll build off of the work done by DeepMind, another Alphabet subsidiary that has done groundbreaking work using AI to predict the structure of proteins. The new company, called Isomorphic Laboratories, will leverage that success to build tools that can help identify new pharmaceuticals. DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis will also serve as the CEO for Isomorphic, but the two companies will stay separate and collaborate occasionally, a spokesperson said. For years, experts have pointed to AI as a way to make it faster and cheaper to find new medications to treat various conditions. Today's artificial intelligence models, according to Google AI's co-founder of the Google Brain Project, Jeff Dean, are nothing more than a one-trick pony. They are normally trained to accomplish a single task. However, Google's new, groundbreaking and actually pretty scary approach to artificial intelligence, dubbed Pathways, will deliver something comparable to a trainable dog that, like ourselves and other animals, can acquire numerous talents in an effective manner. These new models are much different compared to models from competitors such as OpenAI or DeepMind, and way more similar to the way our human brains actually work, both in efficiency and actual abilities. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the most promising new approach to artificial intelligence models I've ever seen, how it's actually intended to work, and finally, what it could mean for the AI industry. Pathways is a new way of thinking about AI that overcomes many of the shortcomings of present systems while still using their benefits. To demonstrate what I mean, let's go over some of artificial intelligence's existing flaws and how Pathways can address them. AI models nowadays are often taught to do only one thing. We will be able to train a single model to accomplish hundreds or millions of things thanks to Pathways. Today's AI systems are frequently taught from the ground up for each new challenge, the mathematical model's parameters are essentially seeded with random values. Imagine it every time you mastered a new skill, say, jumping rope, you forgot everything you'd learn, how to balance, how to leap, how to coordinate your hand movement, and had to start from scratch. Today, most machine learning models are trained in this manner. Rather than extending previous models to learn new tasks, we train each new model from scratch to accomplish only one thing, or we occasionally specialize a generic model to a single purpose. As a consequence, we wind up generating hundreds of models for thousands of different jobs. Not only does learning each new activity take longer this way, but it also takes a lot more data, because we're attempting to learn everything about the environment and the intricacies of that work from scratch, which is not how most people approach new activities. Instead, we'd like to train a single model that can not only tackle several jobs at once, but also draw on and integrate its existing talents to learn new ones quicker and more efficiently. As a result, what a model learns through training on one job, example, learning how aerial photos can forecast the elevation of a landscape, may be used to assist it learn another task, such as predicting how floodwaters would flow over that terrain. We want a model with varied skills that can be called on as needed and stitched together to accomplish new, more difficult tasks, something more akin to how the human brain generalizes between activities. People view the world through a variety of senses. That is fundamentally different from how modern AI systems process information. Most modern models only process one type of input at a time. They can process text, pictures, or voice, but not all three at the same time. Pathways might enable multimodal models that incorporate visual, audio, and linguistic comprehension at the same time. So, whether the model is processing the word leopard, 
the sound of someone saying leopard, or a video of a leopard sprinting, the same internal response is triggered, the notion of a leopard. As a consequence, the model is more perceptive and less prone to errors and biases. Of course, an AI model does not have to be limited to these basic senses. Pathways may handle more abstract types of input, assisting in the discovery of beneficial patterns in complicated systems such as climate dynamics that have baffled human scientists. But because these kinds of deep learning algorithms are so applicable to many problems, this is great because we now have something that can speed up those kinds of computations by an order of magnitude compared to traditional CPUs. And that's really, really powerful. It allows us to use more powerful models in our products and get sort of uh, better systems out there. A third issue is that most modern models are dense, which implies that the entire neural network is activated to complete a job, regardless of how simple or complex it is. This, too, is not how most people approach challenges. We have many distinct areas of our brain that are specialized for different activities, but we only use the ones that are relevant to the scenario. Your brain contains about a hundred billion neurons, yet you only use a small percentage of them to process this text. AI can function in the same way. We can create a single model that is sparsely active, which means that only little channels within the network are activated as needed. In reality, the model learns which portions of the network are good at particular jobs dynamically, it learns how to route tasks through the most important sections of the model. Because we don't engage the full network for every activity, this type of architecture not only has a greater ability to learn a range of tasks, but it's also faster and much more energy efficient. With the most recent advances in reaching what is commonly referred to as artificial general intelligence, reaching human-like intelligence is increasingly becoming a reality. With disruptors like COVID wreaking havoc on the global economy, the race to create artificial general intelligence may have accelerated dramatically. I'd like to share my thoughts on the problems and potential associated with the route to AGI in the future. In other words, if artificial general intelligence is realized, robots will be able to comprehend the world in the same way that humans do. And, using these external inputs, they can find solutions to continuing problems. While AGI has yet to be achieved, it offers a plethora of profitable possibilities. However, it is now beset by major hurdles, which are outlined in the following paragraphs. The absence of a functional protocol to aid with artificial intelligence or machine learning networking is a concern. This flaw forces systems to operate as independent models in a confined area. And such a way of functioning stands in sharp contrast to the complex and social human experience. Communication constraints obstruct smooth data exchange and machine learning model interlearning, reducing universality. The lack of an artificial intelligence network also impedes the overall development of a shared purpose. Organizational leaders are unsure how to integrate AI into their company processes in order to achieve certain goals. The lack of direction, along with the fact that businesses cannot afford to recruit a specialized staff of AI professionals, makes implementing AI platforms expensive. When it comes to selling their technology and services, AI developers and enterprises frequently run into problems. Having robots operate in messy environments like your kitchen is actually pretty complicated, but the very baby steps of things like the hand-eye coordination work I showed you are steps along that path. There are three major goals that must be met in order to potentially create a GI. To begin, we must link organizations in need of AI technology with developers searching for monetization opportunities, which may be accomplished through an AI marketplace. Secondly, we should begin integrating AI services and networks in order to generate data lakes capable of powering AGI. Interactions between AI platforms will aid in the development of universal machine learning solutions. Third, we can start democratizing access to AI technology and pushing oligopolies to provide technologically sophisticated solutions for all. In 2016, Google released a film that was both incredibly ambitious and disturbing in its depiction of how some individuals within the corporation envisage utilizing the data it collects in the future. The video, which was shared internally within Google at the time, imagines a future in which Google subtly nudges users into alignment with the company's own objectives, custom prints personalized devices to collect more data, and even guides the behavior of entire populations to help solve global challenges such as poverty and disease. Google, 
like other corporations at the forefront of AI, is becoming more curious about its users, forceful in how it desires to connect with them, and pushing current limits on what is deemed an acceptable amount of intrusion into their lives. Much of this may be welcomed, given that we have previously been taught to accept the company's unwanted advances and now see them as completely normal and acceptable. As the ethical deployment of emerging technologies, particularly AI, continues to be a topic of public debate, Google appears unconcerned about the potential ethical implications of its current products, practices, and future vision, or whether it is overstepping its bounds by moving quickly to implement its vision. Google aims to comprehend and control the future before it happens, essentially by inventing it and using AI and machine learning to interpret and govern it. That is both a welcome and terrifying prospect, but the truth is that our common technological future is happening at breakneck pace, and no one government or corporation can control it. Because so much data is currently created on a daily basis throughout the world, only massive data injections are expected to make a difference in the future progress of artificial intelligence. That indicates that only the largest, most technically competent enterprises capable of consuming and processing huge amounts of data would gain meaningfully from it in the future. Attempting to manage AI will not be a simple or pleasant process, as there are overlapping frames of reference in many of the industries where AI will have the most influence are already extensively regulated. It will take a long time to sort through all of the issues that have been presented. Many are basic technological problems, but many others are about the types of societies we want to live in and the values we want to adopt in the future. The next decade will be critical in hastening the development of AGI. Experts predict that by 2030, there is a 25% probability of establishing human-like AI. Furthermore, advances in robotic techniques and machine algorithms, along with recent data explosions and computer advances, will provide a fertile foundation for human-level AI systems. It is only a matter of time until AGI becomes the new normal. Because you've got companies that are racing, that they kind of have to race to build AI, or they're going to be uh, made uncompetitive. You know, like the, essentially, if your competitor is racing to build AI and you don't, they will crush you. So then you're like, ah, we don't want to be crushed. So, uh, you know, I guess we need to build it too. That's where you need the regulators to come in and say, hey guys, um, you all need to really pause and make sure this is safe. And like when, when it's cool and we're convinced and the regulators are convinced that it's safe to proceed, then you can go. But otherwise, slow down. I mean, there's like something like 12% of jobs are transport. Transport will be one of the first things to go fully autonomous. But when I say everything, like the robots will be able to do everything. So, what is your opinion on Google's claims of being one of the first companies to have create a real path towards what is commonly referred to as artificial general intelligence? Do you believe that this more brain-like approach is going to pay out in the end or is the old and proven way of creating AI models the more likely candidate? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Along that path. In closing, AI is going to help us to be healthier, happier, more productive, and more creative. Are you excited to see what the future of AI holds? I really am. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.